Hello YouTube, I'm having some problems with my new i7 system. I don't think it's the system itself, but the power supply is my guess. But, uh, a look at the system, we see uh, 6 sticks of 2 gig RAM, a total of 12 gigs. The stock heatsink with newly added paste. Uh, I took that off to see if the paste had spread itself. The Northbridge cooler or whatever that is, it's supposed to be there, so yeah. It says use in conjunction with water cooling. I don't have water cooling, but since it's unstable, more fans can't hurt, right? Here is RAM cooling and the graphic card with a sensor on it. The average temperature of the system is, um, let's see here, um, I have to wait for this to circle around. The CPU, uh, 39 degrees, North Bridge, 46 degrees, South Bridge, 45 degrees, motherboard 33 degrees, uh, the sensor on RAM 32 degrees, graphics card 52 degrees, and the other sensor on the RAM 32 degrees, like the first one. So let's go over here and let's uh, resync this camera so the focus is right. So, I synced the camera and focused it again. It's a cell phone, so yeah, I can't expect too much on that. This is the problem uh, I'm having. It boots and runs fine. All the specs I will pull up over here. Over here, apparently. 12 gigs of RAM, 2.67 gigahertz. Everything seems to be in order over here. I'm running Wista Ultimate with Service Pack 1, 64-bit edition. And apparently, MSN stopped working. The problem I'm having is that it does random blue screens. Uh, I will shut down the feature of uh, automatic restart so we can get a blue screen report the temperatures looks all right I'm running real temp and then we will need to pull up real temp over here as soon as I press the OK button and it puts a load on the cores, it dies on me. I'll press the button now. Blue screen. I don't know what to make out of this blue screen, but it's a blue screen nonetheless. The only information I can get that is somewhat relevant is this. I have no clue what this means. A lot of zeros and a lot of X's and stuff. So, I will reboot my system. And show you my BIOS. I'm running the Dominator ramps at 1.65 volts. That's the maximum allowed from Intel on this CPU. Oh fuck, I missed it. Let's try again. One more time. I don't want to miss it again. Oh, here we got the BIOS. 
here you can see the target CPU frequency is right the target DRAM frequency is right 600 megahertz DDR3 600 I have to put that in manually the timing I have set manually I don't know what these should be set at the other timings but yeah no clue about that so over here I did change this so let's see extreme overclock to enable to get the voltages correct over here it says DRAM bus voltages and as I believe that's the one you have to change but the voltages are moving up and down quite often and I think that might be what's causing the problem my previous build with the XSX 790 motherboard had the exact same issues also did I get a refund on that so I uh, got um, what is it uh, Asus P5N dash workstation motherboard I think and that motherboard also had the same issues with system freezes not blue screens but with freezes and I was running on um, quad core 9550 with 8 gigs of Corsair XMS memories I think so I have really no clue what is causing the problems I ran this system with uh, um, what was it uh, 8i graphics card Radeon 800XT and a GeForce, uh, what the fuck was that? Uh, 7800, I think, and 7950 GS, I think. I ran, I did try three graphics cards different from the one I got now, and it performs identically on all graphics cards that is blue screens within five seconds it seems to run longer if I don't push the CPU so hard let's do a four threaded run on this it seems to run longer before it reboots the workers did die before like none of them died now but as you can see it ran a little longer before the blue screen and my other monitor is still on and that monitor went black so I have no idea folks what can be causing this I have tried so many graphic cards and I tried it with only three stakes of RAM that is 6 gigs total or RAM same problem and this RAM should be uh, in the qualified vendors list also this CPU is in the qualified vendors list because it's the only like CPU that is affordable <coughs> so the strange thing is that I can play games on this computer that is not CPU heavy without any problems like Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 5 none of these are any problems for the machine but as soon as I push the CPU with Prime it totally dies on me I have no clue why this Windows I don't think causes the problems because it, ru it runs on